let's see what's for lunch today. There's gulab jamun for the sweet dish. What's this? This is curd, pickle. This is sambar. This is white rice. Chicken gravy. Chicken gravy. Looks good. Local. This is ghee rice. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk. Wow. Shavi. Coconut milk with uh, shavi. shavi ghee. Okay. This is rice noodles. Idiapam. And this is again chicken fry. Yo, it looks good. Hmm. I'm going to eat all of them. I'm hungry like a pig. Haki, hmm. haki. Um, okay, haki. Okay. Sweet. Are the sweet? Are yeah, the sweet? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So I'll first finish this and come for more. I had a hearty lunch. I love the chicken fry and the chicken gravy especially and uh, the uh, coconut milk along with uh, the shavi ghe, rice noodles or uh, idi appam was fantabulous. My kids had only that. It was not spicy at all but it had a lot of homely flavors and you could eat so much. Wow, look. Oh wow, check that out. So cool. These are Swiss cottages. Uh, there are about four cottages uh, here and each cottage can hold a couple there's a bed there's a fan a pedestal fan there are a couple of chairs a table and there's a well equipped neat and clean bathroom it's pretty cool here There's a Mehendi function which is going to happen here tomorrow and the place is getting decked up. This place has a lot of interesting stuff like if you see nature related. This is a bamboo bark. It's beautifully designed. These elephant miniatures here which is again wooden made out of wood. And here if you see it looks so good. The Toran. This is paddy actually. And you have some wooden bark. A lot of pebbles thrown around. A lot of greenery. And there's this wind chime made of. There's a bee inside actually. So I'm disturbing the bee. Now, this is how. That's Atharf. Kids are having a good time. It's a little sunny. I'm Amma. waiting for the... Amma! Amma! Ah. In the need go to flower. Thank you, Karna. Thank Amma, you, thank you. Amma, That's how a cottage Amma. or a room looks Amma. from outside. Amma. And I kind of love this stuff. Karna, can you sing that song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, that rhyme? This is my favorite. Looks Mama. so cool. Look at that carving. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> ah, nice, Kana. Also good, Kana. Rasam was really good. Rasam. That was awesome. That's potato bonda and fresh jackfruit and mint Mama. chutney. It's coffee time. Check out the fresh chat fruit. Time to explore the place some more. It's 5 p.m. and we are all set for some exciting, adventurous outdoor activity. And they are pretty wow. child friendly, pretty safe. It's oh. musty time now. Wow. Nice. Very good. That's me. Oh my god, this is crazy. Careful, Behan. Oh, my God, something's gonna happen. There's a harness. Oh, is it? 
Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Daring Vihan adventure is so steep below. That slipper yeah, fell. Slipper fell? Ah. Right. One slipper. That's why I'm feeling yeah. uncomfortable. Come back. Okay, come back. Good morning and we are here at the breakfast table. It's day two at the homestay and we are so hungry. It's triangle puri. Life is full of surprises. I'm for the first time going to have triangle puri in my life. And there's potato palya to go with these triangle puris. After all the outdoor activities and being so sportive, we were so, so, so tired, so drained out. We had dinner and we just crashed slept like a log till morning this is coconut chutney and we also have papaya it's 9 a.m and we are on the way to Shringeri. Shringeri is a temple town it's a world famous tourist destination that houses the Sri Shringeri Sharada Peetam uh, the Sharada Peetam was established by Sri Adi Shankaracharya and is considered one of the Shakti Stalams of India and hence Shringeri sees a huge number of religious tourists almost throughout the year. I am going to go seek blessings of Goddess Saraswati for my kids. We reached Shringeri and we are greeted by Gajraj. Shringeri is around 26 kilometers from Koppa. We are walking towards the temple and I come across these beautiful Rangoli designs column and you can be as creative as possible with these ready-made stencils. I am standing right in front of one of the most sacred temples of Karnataka, the Sharadama temple at Shringeri. This is an 8th century temple founded by Sri Adi Shankaracharya. It initially housed a sandalwood statue of Sharadamba in a standing posture which was installed by Adi Shankaracharya until the Vijayanagara rulers installed a seated gold statue of Sri Sharadamba in the 14th century. This is the temple's main entrance. This is the exit. We had a blessed darshanam. That's Adi Shankaracharya's temple and that's the Ganesha temple. Oh my god. Look at this. This is Vidya Shankara temple. I literally get goosebumps when I see a structure as magnificent as this. It's a unique monument built entirely of stone combining both Hoysala and Dravidian architectural styles. of the elephant. Give, give. Wow. Nice. Arthur also wants to seek the blessings. <laughs> Destination next, Sirimani Falls. It's a beautiful waterfall. Agumbe is 14 kilometers from here. So from Kuppa, Agumbe is around 30 35 kilometers, and from Kuppa, Shringeri is around 26 kilometers. And Siri Mane Falls we reached. We reached Sirimane waterfall which is about 16 kilometers from Shringeri. We need to pay a nominal fee at the entrance and take the steps down which leads to the very safe, very beautiful, very cool and a child friendly waterfall. You can take bath without any worries and I guess this place will be fun during rain even better. The waterfall will be even better. What's that? Lunch time. It's fried chicken. What is this? Some kind of gulab jamun. Eh. Padma, what's for him today? Curry. With fish oh. curry and chicken. Hey, undra, undra, undra. So we are at the lunch table. What's this? Fish curry. That's kodabu. Rice uh, cakes or rice. Steamed rice pots. Kodabu. 
दिस इज बांगड़ा फिश करी और मैकरल मैकरल फिश करी दिस इज मैंगो राइस गेस वेर आर माई पोस्ट लंच and no points for guessing i am at dodamane dodamane matlab means large house this is one of the oldest houses at agombe it is said to be more than 130 years old even some parts of the very famous serial malgudi days was filmed here this place is situated in the heart of agombe and just a short walk from the agombe bus stand uh we see the interiors of the house uh the light is not very bright so i tried to capture whatever i could this is the kitchen and that's kasturi akka who is also known as ajji this place is run by her this is one of the most sought after place in agombe the unique thing is kasturi akka doesn't charge her guests a fixed fee in fact she takes whatever the guests offer her don't move there's more coming up in chapter 3 see you soon